Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Barbecue. My name is Mike, and today I'm gonna share a simple, easy Blackstone griddle recipe with you. Now you can do this on any flat top griddle. You can do this in a frying pan. Now this is a recipe we make all the time here at home. It's a quick, fast, weeknight type recipe that you can just whip up and go and not have to worry about tons of prep and tons of cook time. I've never done this on the Blackstone. My wife and I have talked about this for a bit, but we're gonna go ahead and get this knocked out. So all we've got is some beef kielbasa, we've got some nice small cubed up potatoes, and we've got a nice medley here of peppers and onions. Now we're just gonna get all this out on the griddle, we're gonna cook it up, we're gonna put it together, and we're gonna serve it. And this is really an outstanding dish. I hope you'll hang out with me and check it out. The weather's beautiful, let's hang out together, let's cook this up. Okay, so my griddle top's been heating up for about 10 minutes. I can definitely feel the heat. We should be just about ready to cook here. So let's go ahead and start with some oil. And we're going to get these potatoes down first. Now I did cut these potatoes pretty small, uh, you know, with hopes that they'll cook relatively quickly. So I'm going to give these about a five, maybe a seven minute head start. And then we'll start working on those peppers and onions. The sausage is pre-cooked, so that just pretty much needs a crisp and a warming, which you know this griddle is going to take care of no problem. So we've got those spread out. Now let's go ahead with a little bit of garlic salt on these bad boys. Let's mix that up. Now that we've got that salt and oil mixed in, just going to spread these out, give these a few minutes to start softening up. So we're just going to keep working these here. They're definitely starting to get some color and they are starting to soften up a bit, which is what we're looking for. Now you can also use your basting lid if you want to cover these and using that basting lid will sort of accelerate the process of cooking these. but. I'm in really no hurry tonight for one and two. I'm trying to get some nice color on these and I know this is going to be the best way to do it. And they're going to soften up as well during that process. So we're going to take our time with these. Okay, it's been about seven minutes and these are probably about three quarters of the way done. Um, they are definitely softening up. There's some nice color here. I'm just going to give these a quick little spin here. And we're going to let those finish cooking over here on the cool side while we get the peppers and onions started. All right, get some oil down here again. Now our peppers and onions. So I know you guys have heard me say this a thousand times, but the instant smell that you get when you drop these onions and peppers on this griddle, it is second to none. colors are so beautiful. The smells are just, again, they're indescribable. If you've never done this, I can't really, I can't really explain it sufficiently, but it's just beautiful. Glorious, the word I like to use. And then we've got those spread out. Let's go ahead and get these seasoned up with some garlic salt as well. And let's go ahead and mix that up. Now I'm currently cooking at about medium high. I think I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. We're not really going for any crazy type sear activity here, which this griddle is more than capable of. We're just trying to cook. So we're gonna go ahead and get this down to more of a medium or even perhaps a little bit below. Turn the heat down a little bit, mixing these up again. Let's spread these out and give them a few minutes start softening up. Okay, so these veggies have been on about five minutes. Everything is starting to soften up and cook down very well. I'm just gonna continue to work these for maybe another five minutes. Now these are in really good shape here. So we just need to allow these a few more minutes and we'll move these off and get our sausage started. Now while we're waiting for these veggies, occasionally you wanna come over here Flip these potatoes around. They're on low heat, but it's not going to hurt to flip those around a little bit. Give them a little bit of love too. Now I can tell with these potatoes, 
the difference between cooking this dish inside and outside is that here I'm getting a nice crispy exterior and that real tender interior which is the perfect potato in my opinion so definitely noticing that this is something new for me because I haven't done this out here yet but I'm liking it so we're gonna see how it turns out at the end all right let's get back to these veggies just check out what it does to these veggies provides that little sear on the outside cooks them beautifully provides great flavor I am glad my brother talked me into buying this griddle all right these veggies are right about where I want them for now again they're about three quarters of the way done I'm just gonna slide these over here to the cooler side so currently with these burners I've got them set to low low medium low medium low and there's four burners so we've got two on medium low on the left two on low on the right this should be perfect for what we're doing here all right, time to get our sausage down. And this is beef kielbasa. Now, important thing to note, you can use any sausage that you want. If you've got a favorite Johnsonville sausage, or if you've got some other brand of sausage that you like, maybe Eckridge, whatever it is, you can use any one you want, it doesn't matter. And you can add or subtract any vegetables here. You can add mushrooms or um, anything that you want. And just look how it sears that sausage. Gonna work this sausage up here, and we got a really nice sear. And this is pre cooked, so it's pretty much just get it seared however you like it. Make sure it's warm, and then it's time to mix everything together. Okay, so you guys know that I'm a family man, and usually I'm cooking for my family when I'm out here, so my kids are not big fans of vegetables, so I'm gonna mix up a special dish of potatoes and sausage for them and then I'm going to do one for me and my wife and my oldest daughter which is going to encompass everything. So let me get this dish ready for the kids. Okay and now for us, I'm going to do it the right way. Get all this stuff worked in together. Get the juice from those sausages. All right, now I've got that all mixed up. Let's go ahead and get this stuff into a bowl and get it in the house and do a taste test. Here we go, guys. That's what we got. That's what we're working with. It smells beautiful. All right, quick taste test. I'm gonna get an end piece of this sausage. That's how I like it. Check that out. See the sear on that? Cheers. Great crunch on the outside. Here's our potatoes. Cheers again. Again, just like the sausage, crusty on the outside, tender on the inside, absolutely delicious. Let me just get a pepper here. Awesome sear on those veggies. Delicious, perfectly cooked. I'm gonna go after some more sausage. All right guys, that's a wrap. I don't have a name for this dish. Go in the comments below, help me name it. We usually just call it sausage, potatoes, whatever. You know, I don't know. I don't know if there's a name for this. If you know if there's a name for it or you want to name it, put it in the comments below. Maybe I'll even put it in my title. Once again, thank you for joining me. I appreciate all your support, all the love, all the interaction I have with everybody that watches, be it on social media. Don't forget that I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. We actually have an Everyday Barbecue Facebook group also if you want to join that. I'm on Twitter, although my Twitter game's kind of weak. I don't know why, whatever. All right, so hey, take care. I'll see you guys on the next episode.